spent 31 years at IBM. I'm an electrical engineer by trade and a farmer by heart. When I started Equus Run, which is 23 years ago, uh, this was a tobacco, cattle, hay farm. Being almost out of the womb, I think I've wanted to, you know, plant tomato plants and, and pepper plants and corn, and it's just part of my DNA. It's part of the fabric that makes me up. I grew up over in Hart County, which is about an hour and a half from here. My dad loved making fruit wines. It was always a, a chemistry project in our old little one-car shack of a garage. It, it just always stuck with me. We always had something bubbling in the cellar. We're in Woodford County, which is central to the horse industry. In this county alone, we have 154 horse farms. So that's how I even started with you know, naming the vineyard as Equus, which is Latin for horse. And of course, horses run. So that's how I got Equus Run Vineyards. We grow Vidal Blanc, we grow a Cabernet, we also have a Norton and a Chardonnay, which is a French hybrid of Chardonnay. This is a happy business, right? No one comes to a winery in a bad mood. <laughs> it's like they're here, they're going to explore, we're going to sip some wine, we're going to have a good time. So let's now, we've swirled, we sniff, and this is an aged wine, it's two years old, and then let's sip. We love our, our breweries and our bourbon distilleries, our, our cideries and, and the mead houses. It's one of coopetition, it's not one of competition. And that's very important in the spirits industry. We are all sharing consumers going from point A to point B because we're a tourism hospitality industry based. Not all people will want to drink a glass of bourbon or a glass of wine. So you have a potpourri of offerings for that tourist as they are exploring Kentucky. One of our wines, we were probably in our fourth or fifth year, um, actually got reviewed in the New York Times. Apparently a tourist was traveling by and bought some of our white wine and took it to New York. And all of a sudden our phones started ringing off the wall and we have no idea what in the world. Everything you see on the property now has been planted by us. Every tree, every vine, every flower, every bush, everything. You can really see from day one to 23 years later, you see that growth. And I look back and I remember pretty much everybody who helped me plant, whatever tree, whatever bush, all those vines, all eight acres were planted by volunteers. And when the people really brought their little shovels and helped put things together, um, it's very rewarding. And they actually come back and visit. They come back to visit their vine that they planted. You know, because you plant a grapevine once and you tend it a lifetime.